Hey guys, it's me, John Lennon. I'm just kidding. I'm uploading my video today because Jenna is a little busy, so we decided to switch days. So she'll be uploading hers on Monday. As you may have noticed, a lot of us aren't getting our videos up. Um, so this week is kind of like our down week, and I apologize for that. The next few months should be strong because the 26th I'm going to the Beetle Fest in New Jersey and I should have a lot of footage of that and um, I know everyone's also planning some good topics so first I want to tell you about something really cool the cast of Rain a tribute to the Beatles actually rang the closing bell of the stock market on the 8th of this month Joey Curatolo plays Paul, Steve Landis plays John Joe Bithorn plays George, and Joe Bologna plays Ringo. All got to ring the bell. I always wondered how people get chosen for that. I guess you have to be pretty important. What do you guys think of that? And also, if you haven't seen Rain, you really need to. It's well worth the money. I've seen it three times, and I can say it is freaking awesome. And if you can't come to New York, you can see the traveling show. Um, go to raintribute.com for a list of shows. I feel like I'm making a commercial. <laughs> Secondly, I wanted to kind of ask you guys about something. As you can see, I am sitting in a box kind of thing. This is my little nook. I have the Abbey Road poster and the rain pin, but I have nothing else. And I wanted to kind of maybe get some ideas from you guys about what I can put on the on this wall here. I have other Beetle posters, but I don't want to like inundate myself with Beetle posters. I'd rather have smaller pictures or um, drawings or something. I'm not really sure. Um, what do you think? And there's this really annoying uh, outlet here. It's like smack dab in the middle and I can't cover it up because I'm probably going to want to use it but it's so ugly and it's like... Yeah, let's just cover that up. Now for our main topic of the evening or morning if you're watching this then. I wanted to talk about the Bright Tunes music and... I wanted to talk about the Bright Tunes music versus the Hair Songs music lawsuit. If you don't know the lawsuit um, is over the song He's So Fine and My Sweet Lord. He's So Fine was recorded by the Chiffons in 1962, but the song wasn't owned by Bright Tunes Music until 1971. I'll play the song in the background so that you can kind of get the feel of what it's like first. It was a huge hit in the U.S. It was only moderately successful in England. George Harrison was accused of plagiarizing from that song. While the two songs sound very similar, I have to believe that George Harrison did not plagiarize. George Harrison was a Beatle. George Harrison had several hits of his own and did not need this one tune to put him on the map. He did not need to take somebody else's song and make it his own. The songs do sound alike, but the message in each one is completely different. In 1971, Bright Tunes Music filed the lawsuit against George and Apple Corps. Because of the, the crap, because, <laughs> because of the lawsuit, George stopped all royalty payments for the song. He went on to say that he was inspired by Edwin Hawkins singer's Oh Happy Day. The decision in court in the U.S. was that George subconsciously copied He's So Fine. Nothing is original. Everything comes from something. You think of a song or a book, there's always something that you can root it back to that is similar. Harrison may have subconsciously copied the song, but it's obvious that he did not deliberately plagiarize. He was ordered to surrender the rights, major royalties of My Sweet Lord. And to make things even worse, Alan Klein, his former manager, became the owner of Bright Tunes Music. Now what kind of crap is that? 
And <clears throat> to put the cherry on top, the chiffons recorded My Sweet Lord later on as their own. They wanted to capitalize on the publicity of the whole case. But George did buy the rights to He's So Fine later on and wrote and recorded a song called This Song, <laughs> which includes, quote, This tune has nothing bright about it. I Can't Help Myself and Rescue Me are also mentioned in the song as kind of like a, a jab at them. What do you think about the case? Have you ever heard of it? If you have, do you think George plagiarized? Or do you think that the chiffons just got greedy? And what do you think about Klein, his manager? I'm glad I'm not in the music business because it seems like a freaking bloodbath. There's a lot that goes into this case, but I can't get into it because it's just too complicated and I didn't do so well in law, so... <laughs> If you want to read more, I'll link you to a good uh, page that explains the whole thing in more in depth. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and uh, make sure you subscribe. My dad actually had the 45 of My Sweet Lord and um, this is pretty cool. The B-side is, is not a pity and I just wanted to show this to you. It's got the apple. Oh! Look, man. Isn't that the best poster you've ever seen in your life? So, if you go... Wherever you go in my room, their eyes follow you, and it's kind of freaking me out. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy that my name is there, too. Except that's not how you spell it. That's okay, we can pretend. Okay, bye.